Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today I want to show you a business that made 50,000 US dollars in profit selling a saturated product. The reason I want to show you these guys, show you this particular business is to help you think outside of the box when it comes to building your very own dropshipping business. Time and time again, I will speak to people about starting a business and they just assume that you have to sell that product in the United States because it's got hundreds of millions of people. That's where everybody else sells and therefore that is where I am going to sell. However, I am going to show you a prime example of why you should not think along those very same lines. So before I show you what that product is and before I show you where they are selling that product, let's take a look at the numbers. So the financial statistics for the last nine months, so this is a relatively new business or a very new business, in fact, I would say, total revenue, $165,000 with a total profit of $52,000. If I take you back to the top, we can see this is a verified listing by flipper.com themselves. Basically, that means they verify the numbers are legit and the numbers they put forward to list the website are indeed true. In terms of where they get their customers from, we will indeed be taking a look at their ad creatives as well. So we can take a look at their primary expenses. The product and shipping is seven grand a month, platform fees, so Stripe, Shopify, etc. 600 a month, Facebook ads, so their primary source of traffic, their primary source of customers. They're spending a little bit over four grand a month and they are also dabbling in Google ads with a total spend each month of just over $200. Just a quick reminder, this business is making 50 grand a year in profit and in their own words with their operation the business operations require about three hours per week. There are many, many people out there working 40 to 50 hours per week and getting nowhere near 50,000 in return for their time invested. That truly is one of the beauties of dropshipping is once you have an established product with an established manufacturer and a business model that works, then it requires very little time involved. Very quickly, before we move on, just 30 seconds of your time, I want to make you aware of a free training, 100% free training that I've just got done recording. It's called How to Profit from Shopify Dropshipping in 21 Days. It is a very extensive training video, but it will show you literally every step you need to take to launch your business and get your very first customers in the next 21 days. I know that sounds like a bold claim, but we have had hundreds of people go through this training and I've seen it happen time and time again. It is 100% free. All I ask is for your email address and that is so I can send you this. This is also free, 100% free download you get for watching the training and it's my personal handpicked selection of 194 profitable ideas for 2023. If any of that sounds good to you, after this video, make sure you check out that first link, the top link in the video description below. Thanks. So what is the product? This is the product that made 50 grand in profit in the last nine months. If you've been involved with dropshipping for a while, you will have seen this product um, several times before. Probably it went around TikTok, it went around Facebook, it went around Instagram. It's a viral product. It's been around for many, many years. And as you can see, I think if we go back, we can see, I think this is just a supply video given by the looks of the people featuring in the video. So you may now be thinking, well, how have they made that sort of money if it's a truly saturated product? And that is because they are selling this product in Switzerland. Why is Switzerland so important? Well, because nobody advertises there. Well, not nobody, but a small percentage of people advertise in Switzerland on Facebook in comparison to other countries. So if we jump onto this website here, this is the analysis of Facebook ads CPM by country. Basically what that means, how expensive it is to advertise in a country versus another one, so on and so forth, the average cost. So we can see by far that United States, this one here, in fact, Let's bring out my pen. So the US is here, it's the first one in the list. We can see the average CPM is in and around sort of between 13 and $14. In fact, I think this is it here at 13.25. If we find Switzerland on this list, which is here, we can see it's about there, about $6. Six, between six and seven dollars. So for all intensive purposes, it is half the cost as advertising in the United States. So you win in two ways basically by advertising to Switzerland. Number one is that for every 10 pound you spend in the United States, you will only have to spend five pounds to reach the same amount of people. Plus, because nobody ever really considers Switzerland as a place to drop ship, the people there are gonna be a lot less used to seeing dropshipping products. Therefore, the chances are they probably haven't seen your products before and therefore you're gonna get a lot more interest as well. The reason why this is so powerful is because you can literally take your products that you know is tried and tested, 
verified a winner in the US that has been sold any time in the last five or 10 years and take it to a country where it hasn't been sold. Because if people buy that product in the United States, in the UK, there's a very strong chance there's gonna be a demand and people will buy it in the other countries as well. Just to double check those CPMs and how expensive, just to reiterate the point, this is taken from Statista, um, a globally known reliable source for statistics. Let's bring out my pen again. So we can see again, top in the list is the United States at a 35. Basically what a CPM is, how expensive it is to get 1000 impressions, to put your ad on 1000 places, whether it's a device, a certain website, wherever it may be. Facebook ads is also an auction, it's a bidding platform. So basically what that means, think of it as like eBay, but for impressions. The more people competing, the more people bidding for that particular impression, the more expensive it's going to be. So basically what this means in terms of a percentage, there's a higher amount of people competing for space, competing for Facebook users in the United States than that is anywhere else in the world. If we come down this list and look at other countries, so Australia, um, a tiny little bit cheaper, we have Canada. Obviously, we want to stick to countries that have a higher GDP. Um, in terms of, if you may be thinking in terms of barriers of languages, that's not really an issue nowadays. There's workarounds, there's certain apps on the Shopify app store which will convert your store. You can pay somebody on Fiverr like $20 to $50 to convert it and speak and write it like a local would. So the only issues you may now and again come up again with potentially customer service. But again, there's tools out there which will allow you to deal with things like that. And you can also hire VAs for cheaper than you might think who can speak in those languages and talk to somebody in their local language. So we have Canada, we have the UK at 19 in comparison to a 35. So the UK is actually very cheap in comparison. If we come down though, further down the list, we can see countries like Italy, countries like Spain, countries like France. These are a fraction of the price in comparison to the United States. So again, if you have come across a product and you think it's saturated, but you know it's a tried and tested winner, then why not consider one of these countries, UK, Germany, France, Italy, Spain, and so on. Yes, there are certain challenges which you may have to overcome, certain hurdles like language barriers. However, there are workarounds if you look for them. Just to confirm then how they acquire their customers, are primarily targeting Swiss households. We're effectively reach our customers via digital ads on Facebook, Instagram, and Google. Let's jump onto the website then and see what it looks like. So this, I will try my very best to dig out a screenshot of what my very first Shopify store looks like. In fact, it may even still be live. It's not live, so I'll try my best to dig out a screenshot. This is almost a like for like of what, get rid of that. This is almost like for like of what my very original Shopify store looks like um, back in 2016 now. So we're talking seven years ago. But again, I've mentioned this in previous videos before. Countries that are not used to seeing drop shipping stores, countries that are not used to seeing drop shipping products, there is still a massive market there for those because they are not saturated and people are not familiar with what they are. So to me, this looks like the very very basic Dawn theme. I don't believe they have, so it is Dawn. I don't believe they have any add-ons whatsoever here, potentially that as an add-on. So they're talking the most simplistic and basic setup in comparison to what it potentially takes today to advertise to a Western country. Next, let's jump on to their Facebook page. So as you can see, they haven't even posted since December of 2022. I cannot reiterate how much this reminds me of dropshipping back in 2016. Let's jump onto the ad library then, take a look at some of the ads that are generating the results for these guys to see what these look like. So we have one that was launched in June, one that's launched in April. Let's take a look at this one because this is the longer running of the two. And again, nothing but a single line followed by a get yours here I'm assuming that says and then the same video they've got on their product page this is just stock footage or not stock footage but recycled content taken from suppliers and that is all they are using as their ad this is such a simple and easy and basic setup. You could literally copy this business and be up and running in a couple of hours if you know what you're doing with a bit of experience. Obviously, I do not advise anybody to do that. It's against the law nobody should do that. The whole point of doing this video and the message I want you to take away from this video is that United States is not the be all and end all. If you've tried to death, or at least what it feels like tried to death, advertising to make it work in the United States, consider one of these other countries 
countries here and below that I've pointed out today. And so with that being said then guys, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hopefully I've given you some inspiration, some ideas um, to go down. Now, if you need any help getting started with anything whatsoever, don't forget to leave a comment down below, read every single one so I will get back to you. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.